Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, then my Year of One is a quantity controlled low buy project that I have been on for the year of 2021. It follows on from doing a no buy year in 2020. I think, excitingly, this is going to be the first video of my Vlogmas. It's September at the moment, so I am filming on the 26th of September and this is my intro to my 12 pans of christmas project pan i believe the concept for the 12 pans of christmas was originated by jacqueline levine whose channel i will link up down below and there is no rules to the project pan in terms of the products it's just there are 12 for obviously the 12 days of christmas potentially hopefully at the point that i am filming this um this bedroom makeover will be done these 12 pans of christmas updates might actually be like a fun little kind of seeing the progression of it happen. At this point I am about to embark on redecorating this bedroom so that paint swatch behind me is not a strange piece of modern art, it is a paint swatch for seeing how the colour is on the wall. That out of the way, let's get into my 12 pans of Christmas project pan introduction. Obviously this is a short term project pan, it is taking place over the three months at the end of the year and I am running it alongside my 2021 project 10 pan which I will link up in the cards and at the end if you've not watched the videos. But because I am still doing that I don't have a huge amount of makeup products in this because there are quite a lot of makeup products in that project. But one of the products that I do have is this Colourpop lip oil. So I will show you in the close up I have marked it where it kind of settles. I am hoping to actually finish this within the project. This is in the shade Local Time. My friend Lauren like buzzes through these super super quickly so she has given me hope that this will be finishable. I've got an eyeshadow in this project pan which was quite a bold choice because I have had two eyeshadows in my year-long project pan and at the time of filming this intro I still haven't hit pan in either of them. I'm hoping at least one of them the pan is quite close. The other one I think the shade will work in conjunction. Conjunction is not a word and I think I meant conjunction. Please forgive my ridiculous made up word right there. With this shade quite nicely so I'm hoping to be able to get pans in both of them by the end of the year. We shall see. This is the shade Seashell. It's from number seven. It's like a deluxe sample that I've been given and it's just quite a nice sort of shimmery shade that I think will work quite nicely as an all over lid shade with the green from my project pan in the crease. So. That is the plan. It's a really nice sort of everyday shade and it's not new and it's not a full size shadow so fingers crossed we will get a pan in it by the end of the year. Product that I am also hoping to finish by the end of the year, might be a big goal but we will see, is this Benefit Concealer. Already have pan in this but I am a bit of a nightmare. I sort of like to have like four or five concealers on the go. I don't really commit to products that is part of my problem so I'm hoping that by putting this in the project I will just really concentrate on this for the rest of the year and will hopefully finish it up so we shall see it's got five grams of product in it at kind of full capacity obviously I have used a fair amount of it in hit pan but there's still lots of product at the side so we shall see but I would quite like to try and hit side pan by the first update so that is the goal and the end goal is to hopefully finish it so we'll see another makeup product in this is my Essie Lauder primer so this is the spotlight skin tone perfecter it's a sort of illuminating primer i have had this for so long that i don't really feel comfortable putting it on my face anymore but what i thought is that hopefully since we're maybe going to have a more normal christmas season this year in comparison to last year that there will be more nights out and things and I, and I thought I could maybe get some use out of this as a sort of illuminating body cream um so oh, nearly dropping it I have weighed this because you can kind of see through the packaging but not fully in a reliable way so I have weighed this as 28 grams all in hoping to finish this by the end of the project 
And the last makeup item that I've got is this Benefit Under Eye Primer. I don't tend to use this, I just kind of don't really think to use it, so I'm hoping by putting it in the project I will remember to use it. It's not an eye cream, so it's not a treatment product, it is just a sort of brightening, depuffing um, product, I think, to use eye cream as part of my skincare routine. And then if I'm doing like a full makeup look, I will use an under eye corrector and concealer. And if I'm not doing a sort of full makeup look, I will just use concealer. This is sort of, it's a strange product that's not opaque enough to be a corrector. It just sort of adds a bit of illumination. It's a kind of product that's not heavy duty enough in terms of its effect for what I'm looking for if I'm using my corrector where I want that really sort of full face of makeup um, colour correction. But if it's just like a kind of normal day to day day where I'm just using concealer, I'm not really that fussed either about looking for extra illumination then. Do you see what I mean? So this is the sort of product that I've just never really been able to slot into my regular makeup routine. But I don't dislike it either so I've never decluttered it. But I've just had it for so long I don't think they actually make this anymore. And I would just like to get it used up so I would also like to finish this within the project. Starting weight on this one is 13 grams. I have put a perfume into the project and I've found in the past that putting perfume into my project pans hasn't really worked in my favour. I am such a lover of perfume. I'm not somebody who has a signature scent. I like to rotate my perfumes. I am very into matching my scent to my mood. So I have kind of been a bit wary. I didn't put a perfume into my year-long project pan for example, but this is not full and I'm hoping within three months that I can finish this without using it exclusively. And it is a perfume that I really love around the festive time. It is Jo Malone Tobacco and Mandarin. I have not marked this. I've talked about this before, but I really like perfume bottles as decoration once they are empty. Obviously, I try and keep them out of sight when they are not empty so that the product doesn't spoil. So you can see I've got perfumes up there and they're generally in their boxes and things like that. This was from the Bloomsbury set collection. I bought the entire collection and I have this sort of vision of once I finish all the scents from it. Uh, one of them is finished so I think I've got, oh no, I think I've finished two now. So I think I've got three left to finish including this one. And I have a sort of vision of putting the five bottles uh, on a shelf somewhere with some nice books or something. So uh, I've not marked the bottle because I don't want to spoil it because of that, but I have done a cutaway. It's because it's perfume and it's it's obviously straight on a countertop. You know, you'll be able to see through the updates, putting the cutaways next to each other, how much I've used. This is such a lovely one around Christmas time. I will really enjoy using it, but I am hoping, I mean, Jo Malone clones are 30 mil and I'm saving it about the halfway point of that. So I'm hoping that that's 15ml of product to use across three months. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that and get the use of some of my other festive scents that I don't want to not get the use of just because I'm trying to finish this. But I would quite like to try and finish this. So that is the aim for this one. This is brand new. So this is a L'Occitane hand cream. It is another one that I have weighed, so this is 31 grams to start with and I'm hoping to finish it. I am really bad with hand cream. I'm hoping now that I am back to working in the office that I will take this into work, sit it in my desk and just think to use it, particularly because I sanitise quite often now. Like I always used hand sanitizer, but obviously in the past year or two we've um, all picked up on our use of that. So I feel like it will hopefully just become a little bit more of my routine and if it's on my desk I will remember to just pick it up and use it. So I would like to try and finish this within the project but as I say it's brand new, totally unused so I don't know if that's completely realistic but we're gonna give it a go. Another brand new and basically unused product, this Pixie face mask. It is their vitamin C caviar balm and it's a brightening leave-on mask. Yeah I feel like obviously as we get into winter skin gets a bit grey I use a vitamin C every single day but having a nice vitamin C mask to you know, brighten the skin up can't be a bad thing and it's a leave on one which means that I can basically do my skincare at night and then use it in place of moisturiser and just let it kind of do its things. I've used this once, I used this last week actually when I was prepping this project just to check that I didn't react to it or anything like that because I'd never used it before and I do have quite reactive skin so I just I used it once to make sure that I could put it in the project rather than putting it in and then coming back in update one and saying I took an allergic reaction to that so that's out. So I've had one use out of this but other than that this is 
completely full, brand new, so I am hoping to still finish it within the project. I don't know if that's usually realistic, but although it's brand new and it's full, it's 45 mils, so it's not, I feel like most of my face masks are 75 to 100 mils, so it is a little bit smaller. Hoping to finish it within the project, fingers crossed. Um, but the starting weight in this one is 48 grams. And the last product that I am weighing as part of this, so I know the weighing ones aren't quite as visually satisfying to watch, but I did kind of want that mix of things that are visually satisfying to see go down and things I actually just want to move out of my collection. So the last weighing product is this eye cream from Kiehl's. It's their Eye Alert Energy Booster to combat puffiness and dark circles. It's got caffeine in it, it's for puffiness and dark circles and energizing which around hopefully Christmas party season a bit more as we know it and not the way it was last year um you know that will be a good thing to have in my repertoire. Starting weight for this is 12 grams and I'm hoping to finish it within this project. Similar to what I said about hand cream and products that I just don't think to use I have got quite a few face mists I have been working through them so I think I'm down to only having four. This is the Omra Vitsa Queen of Hungary mist. I just don't really think to use face mists so again I'm hoping I will take this into work, sit it on my desk right next to my hand cream and just get some use out of it. I don't know if it's realistic to try and finish it within the project or not. That would be ideal. I would really just like to knock out another face mist before going into 2022. As long as I make progress on it I will be happy. It's 30ml kind of full size. This was in I think an advent calendar so I don't know um, what the sort of standard size that this is sold at is but this one's a 30ml. As you can see it's not completely full so theory if it was full it would be 10 mils a month across three months of using it to finish it within the project and it's not even fully starting at that so I don't know hopefully I will maybe manage to finish it but it's like it's a super fine mist if you guys can see that you don't spray out that much product which I actually I really like the mister it's really really nice I would like to try and finish it within the project don't know if that's realistic but we're gonna give it our best shot and another product that I would like to try and finish within the project is this which is again from Kiehl's and it is their smoothing oil infused leave-in concentrate as you can see I have used up a lot of this so we are down to the end but I only wash my hair once a week. I've got very fine hair so I can't use a lot of product on it or it just goes really sort of flat so I need to use this super sparingly which is why I'm a bit like oh I don't know if even that much that's at the bottom is realistic for me to finish within three months but I would quite like to try and finish it within three months. What I thought as well is maybe like generally I'm giving you like the full chat here I wash my hair on a weeknight. I have to kind of go around, I tend to wash it a Tuesday or a Wednesday sort of depending, um, which means that I have to go to work all day with my hair as it is before I wash it. But what I kind of thought is maybe like nights before I'm washing it, if I sort of soaked my hair in this and then wore my hair up the next day, it might look a little bit crazy. But yeah, it might work as a sort of nice way to give a bit of a treatment to my hair, but then I'd be washing it out so I wouldn't be walking around with super limp, crazy hair for a really long time. Just one day and I could tie it up. That's the plan. So we'll see. What I'll maybe do is just use it as it is for the month then. That gives me an idea of what use, what a month's use actually has in terms of the effect on the product you know just by using it the way I currently do which is through the ends of my hair when it's just been washed before I blow dry it and then at update number one which will be at the end of October we will see how much of an impact that has made and then maybe I'll step it up and start using it as a sort of makeshift mask or something to try and get it finished. I've got quite a lot of hair oils weirdly for somebody who does have such fine hair and needs to be quite you know um careful with how much product she puts in it so I would really like to try and get this one knocked out before the end of 2021 so we shall see and the last product that I have got officially in the project because yes there is a bonus non-official 13th pan of Christmas is this from Davines and it is their authentic nourishing oil so it's a body oil as you can see I have marked it I get there's just certain products I just get really strangely precious about and this is one of them 
but part of the reason I get precious about this I think is because I also have this which is my non-official product and it is the Davines Authentic Cleansing Nectar and I tend to use these in conjunction with each other but I feel like I've spoken about this before but I have got certain sort of expensive shower gels or I've had certain expensive shower gels in the past and I get really strangely precious about them because I'm like I'm literally just washing these down the drain and this is one of them I have been holding on to this for so long and sort of you know being really like careful about when I use it and you know I don't know I'm just a bit weird about it but going into winter obviously your skin needs that extra nourishment so I'm hoping that if I put this in the project that it will encourage me to use this in conjunction with it so I have marked both of them so we will track both of them but if I finish this within the year I will be quite happy that is the main goal of the project is just nourishing oil itself and yes to hopefully finish it and not be taking it into 2022 with me that is the plan so those are my 12 products for my 12 pants of Christmas some kind of big goals there quite a lot of things that I'm hoping to completely finish within the project but hopefully we will manage them so thank you very much for watching this one if you're not subscribed to my channel already then please do and I will see you in my next video bye